Okay, foresters, um, I'm building a pig feeder today for our pigs. Uh, Amy has to feed them every morning, you know, and take care of them. We're trying to make it to where we're not out there every morning and every evening, you know, constantly and having to get down into the feed barrel. She's vertically challenged, so she has a little trouble getting all the way down in the bottom when, uh, you know, when the feed gets low in the barrel. So we're going to make an automatic uh, feeder so that she doesn't have to worry about that. We already have pig nipples out there, so we so that eliminates the problem we were having with the water. And uh, I'm designing and building this kind of by the seat of my pants here. I don't have any design drawn out, it's just kind of in my head. So I'm gonna show you what I have so far. All right, here's the two sides of the feeder. As you can see, they're just a big L shape and uh, it is gonna come down to um, an angle here. Let me get this screw before that goes in somebody's tire. But um, they're gonna have lids here. This is the two side pieces. And uh, I'm gonna get a little more work to start putting this together so you can see what we're doing so far. All right, I put the back on and then I put the bottom on. So this should, when we put the feed in here, it should run down to here so that the pigs are able to get to it. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cut some more pieces for it and put it together and uh, see you in a little bit. There we have the front of it. It's starting to come together now. I think you guys can see what I'm uh, going for here. All right, let me, uh, I've got to make a dividing board here and then uh, I'll do the very front plate. All right, I put the divider in here. The divider is so that the uh, hogs can eat out of the bottom here and not fight over the food as much. There'll be a spot for each one of them. Now I gotta put the front, front plate on and build the lids. Here is the feeder with the uh, front on, the two front panels. Now I gotta build the lid for down, there are actually gonna be two lids here and one lid up top. I believe I'm gonna do the lid up top first and then worry about the two bottom ones. I got this rubber that I'm gonna put up here on the door, on the front doors to uh, try and keep it uh, moisture out of it. All right, here we go. This is, I've got the lids for where they feed at, right here. Two pigs will be able to feed at the same time, or one pig at one time. I know this thing is huge. Um, I'll probably never fill this thing up unless I get a whole bunch of pigs. Right now I only have two, so um, it should be, should work great, but I figure this would probably feed at least four pigs, keep them fed. It's pretty good size and it's pretty darn sturdy. I don't think they're gonna tear it up. I got, this is a, a runner mat that I'm gonna put up there, kind of seal the top so that less moisture can get down in there. I don't know if I'm gonna worry about that or not, really. I don't think uh, any rain does get down in there. The pigs will eat it anyways. So we'll see. All right, guys. 
here is the finished product there's the pig feeder we got the lid open and close that's where you put the feed in I got the lids for where they feed at wired open just so that they know until they get used to that this is where they get their feed but uh i'm about to put it in the hog pen and put some feed in it to get them trained to it all right guys here is the a little update on the feeder they had it for about a month um they've already ripped the um rubber off of it but other than that they've been using it pretty good one other thing i'm going to do is i've got the bottom of it the feeder part a little too high let me see if i can get a better angle here if you look here that's a little too high so if i have some young pigs in there they're not going to be able to get the thing open they're not going to be able to get it open and feed they put their nose on there and lift it up uh, so i'm gonna have to cut this down a little bit don't eat my phone piggy so really so this is uh but other than that the feeder is working pretty good i'm gonna have to make some modifications before i get any young pigs again but the feeder is working great um just have to do a couple modifications to it all right y'all have a great day and grow something for your hey family. guys if you like that video hit that like button remember that bell and subscribe and if you want to see any of the other videos check out everything over here